Welcome back, tech enthusiasts. Last time, we showed you how to connect an IP camera using wireless bridges to monitor remote locations effortlessly. Whether you're securing a farm, monitoring a distant buildings, or setting up outdoor surveillance, wireless bridges make it easy to extend your network without long cables. But what good is your camera if you cannot power them? So today, we're diving deep into power options for remote IP camera setups. So stick around as we break down these powerful solutions. DC 12V, PoE power over Ethernet, and solar power. So remote IP camera setups are essential for environments where traditional wiring is not visible. And think about large farms, off-grid buildings, or vast outdoor surveillance areas. So wireless bridges solve the network problem. But how do we power these cameras in such hard to reach places? So let's talk about three key power options. First up is the classic DC 12 volt power supply. If you get a nearby power source, this is the simple and reliable solution for powering your IP camera. And here's how you set it up. You just plug the camera's power input into a DC 12 volt power adapter and connect it to a power outlet. This is ideal if your camera is near a power source or you can easily run short power cables. As you can see, it is already connected. And this is our live feed. I'm going to wave my hand. And as you can see, it is a quick setup, but it comes with limitations. Over longer distances, you might need extended cables or even a power converter. And for locations without nearby power, you might want to consider other solutions, especially when you're miles away from nearest outlets. And next, let's talk about power over Ethernet. Now this is where things get interesting. With PoE, both power and data run through a single Ethernet cable, which means fewer cables, a cleaner setup, and centralized power management. And here's how it works. First, you need a PoE injector or a PoE switch like ours to power the camera and the wireless bridge directly through the network cable. And it's especially useful for weather exposed area because you can keep the power centralized and safe using our IP67 rated outdoor waterproof PoE switch. Now I'm going to plug in two Ethernet cable, one for our wireless bridge and the other one for our PDZ camera. So this one will go here, directly connected to our PoE port on the wireless bridge. And instantly, you can see it already power on. And the other Ethernet cable will come over and connect to our PDZ camera. As you can see, this is a very clean and neat setup. Only two Ethernet cables needed. And the advantage here, simplicity. Fewer cables mean less mess, and you can power devices up to 100 meters away from our outdoor PoE switch. And if you need even more power, you can consider PoE++, the higher power version that can handle advanced camera with more demanding features, like the PDZ, and offering greater versatility for professional surveillance system. And next, let's check out our live video feed on our Green Backyard application. This is our Green Backyard application and I already connected to the PDZ camera. So let's hit pay. And here we go. I'm going to wave my hand so you can see this is a live video feed. And finally, we have the ultimate solution for off-grid remote locations, solar power. And if you are miles away from any power source, solar power gives you total freedom. No more worrying about where to get cables. 
And here's our all-in-one solar power kit. Now it includes everything that you need. A solar panel to capture sunlight, a built-in charge controller to regulate power, and a battery system to store energy. And here's how it works. First, you need to position the solar panel for maximum sunlight exposure. Then connect the panel to the built-in charge controller and battery. And the battery power both our camera and wireless bridge through an outdoor PoE switch 24-7. And solar is perfect for truly remote location, but it does require proper capacity planning. Make sure your system can generate and store enough energy to keep everything running around the clock, even during cloudy days. As you can see, they're already connected. Now I'm just going to turn on the switch and instantly the power are on and it is connected to our 48 volt voltage booster so you can provide consistent power for our outdoor PoE switch. And then I'm going to connect two Ethernet cable, one for the wireless bridge and the other one for our PTZ camera. Let's connect it to the PTZ camera using this Ethernet cable. So we're getting the power directly from our solar power system. And then another Ethernet cable connected directly to the PoE port of our wireless bridge. As you can see, the indicated lights are all on. And by pressing this single pairing button, it will automatically pair with the other wireless bridge. No need for complicated configuration. So now let's go over to the other side. Make sure you keep a clear line of sight between your wireless bridges. As you can see, on this side, everything is all set and done. And we've got the camera installed at the remote area and the wireless bridge is extending the network so we can monitor everything from home. So as you can see, the live feed comes through seamlessly. So the wireless network bridge let you monitor from anywhere, your home, a control center, or even on the go using your mobile device. And the right power solution depends on your locations and needs. If you're near a power source, DC 12V is a no-brainer. And for a clean and efficient setup, power over Ethernet is hard to beat. And for the truly remote, solar power gives you complete off-grid independence. And no matter which option that you choose, make sure you've got a reliable power source for your remote IP camera setup. And if you want to dive deeper into any of these power options, you can check out our other videos for more details. And let me know what power option that you would choose for a remote camera setup. And thank you very much for joining us at Fast Cabling. I'll see you in our next video.